In this lecture, we will talk about uh, isomerism in monosaccharides. This lecture is a part of my YouTube channel, Biochem Lectures. My name is Alam Zeb. I am a professor at the Department of Biochemistry, University of Malacan. I did PhD from the Institute of Biochemistry, Graz University of Technology, Graz Austria. The contents of this presentation includes introduction to isomerism and isomerism in monosaccharide in details. Now the question is what is isomerism? Compounds having similar molecular formula but different structures are called isomers. This is the definition. Now the phenomena is known as isomerism. These compounds have different physical and chemical properties. Isomerism is a phenomena in which more than one compound have the same chemical formula but different chemical structures. Uh, two main forms of isomerisms are uh, common or usually one is structural isomerism, second one is stereoisomerism. So in order to uh, uh, classify Isomerism is classified into two main classes. The first one is known as structure isomerism. The second one is stereoisomers or stereoisomerism. Stereoisomers is further divided into two main types. One is known as optical, the second one is known as geometrical isomers or geometrical isomerism. Structure isomerism is classed into several types. This includes functional isomerism, metamerism, tetamerism, chain isomerism, and ring and chain isomerism. Now the details of the isomerism in monosaccharides. The first class of isomerism is known as enantiomerism. Enantiomers are isomers which are not superimposable mirror images of one another. Configuration change at the carbon number 5 in glucose when we consider glucose is a standard one compound. D sugar have hydroxyl group on the right side while L sugar have hydroxyl group on the left side. Especially at the asymmetric carbon you can see here the L in the glycerally hide the um, a hydroxyl group is on the left side while in the D glycerose are glycerally hide this on the right side. Uh, similar is the case of the glucose. Deal and should not be confused with uh, optical isomerism. Next class is epimerism. Sugar that differ only in the stereochemistry of a single carbon. For example, uh, the, uh, the difference of the orientation at the position number 4 and 2 of the glucose. The two Epimers have opposite configuration at only one stereogenic center. All other stereogenic center in the molecules are the same. Epimerization is the process in which interconversion occur uh, from one epimer to another. For example, glucose is converted to either mannose or to galactose. And this occurs also in the presence of chemicals like base where 
where hydrogen and CO2 may be removed to form enolate ion and reprotonation occur and uh, they change the stereochemistry of the carbon number two. This is just the mechanism. Uh, next is anomerism. Uh, isomers which are different on the anomeric carbon atoms or carbonyl carbon is known as uh, anomerism. Uh, in this case, we need to remember that a carbonyl carbon is important. Property, this is, this anomerism is the property of the ring structure. Uh, alpha hydroxyl group is below the ring, while beta hydroxyl, uh, hydrogen hydroxyl group is above the ring. So, above the ring is beta, below is alpha. This is the property of the ring structure. You can see here, the alpha is below the ring in the chair structure, while you can see here the, um, the case of the beta, this is about the plane of the uh, ring. Now what are the stereoisomerism? In this, type, uh, in this type, we can say that it is a form of the isomerism in which molecules have the same molecular formula and sequence of bonded atoms and depend in the three-dimensional di three orientation of their atom in space. They may be either enantiomers or diastereoisomers. Diastereoisomers may include cis-trans isomer, conformationals, uh, and conformers or conformational isomers. Now the next class is uh, optical isomerism. Isomers different on the basis of the rotation of space specific light. For example, we can say that uh, in optical isomers are those which rotate the plane of the polarized light. Uh, when they rotate the, uh, toward the right side, we call it dextro, while when they rotate it toward the left, we call it leo rotatory. So this is a light passes, in this figure you can see the light passes uh, through a prism and it consists of several um, wavelengths and then it is passed through a monochromator and you get a monochromatic light. So the rotation is due to, remember this is the important, the rotation is due to the ch chirality in monosaccharides. A dextrorotatory compound is often mixed with, uh, uh, prepexed with plus or small d. Likewise, a leo rotatory compound is often prepexed with uh, small l or minus. Uh, 